Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be modelling a basic mug. As you can see here, it's really simple in its shape with a handle and it's roughly based on this mug here from IKEA. Uh, so we've got the initial dimensions from the IKEA website uh, just to give us some kind of uh, parameters to work to and we're going to dive straight in with the modelling. So we go file, new part. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the revolve feature. So revolve feature basically uh, use, use a sketch and you revolve it around a line and it creates a 360 degree um, model. So initially what you'll do is you'll roughly sketch out the shape and you should always base it around the origin. It's just good practice in terms of the model and shape. So what I'm going to have here is the model. So this is the oh, missing line there. This is the initial model for the mug. And we're going to add some parameters to it. So we know in terms of the height, it's 10 centimeters high, so 100 mil. And in terms of the width, we know that it's also 100. So top tip really is when we are modeling, especially when we're using the revolve feature, what you have to remember is that you are basically drawing up half of the feature. So you need to basically cut a mug in half or cut it in half, write down it, and then you can see the, uh, the distance. So if it's 100 mil, it's gonna be 50. So that can be a little bit tricky sometimes, especially if you've got some big dimensions that you need to work with. So the line where you will revolve it around, if you make that for construction and then go to dimension it again, you can see that it still comes up with 76 mil. But if you drag it out here, in fact, sorry, you need to select the center line, of course, and the outside line. It still says 76 mil. But if you drag it across the center line, it will now give you the overall width so it basically doubles the dimension. So that is a really handy command or a really kind of handy tip to, to use when you're modeling uh, with revolves. Because instead of having to work out what half the distance is to use your revolve, you can basically uh, work with a construction line and it will do that for you. So if we click OK and make that 100 mil, we've now got our parameters for the mug. So we've got some bits here which are just hanging out so we just need to bring these round so this is the kind of foot of the mug and this is the outside which will be chamfered so we don't have to have this accurately dimensioned we just need some rough dimensions so we'll call that 8 mil and then the bottom will be say 4 mil so we've got half of the mug here. However, when we go to revolve, it won't allow us to revolve. It'll come up with an error saying that it's open and you can create a uh, thin revolution. But if you want to create a non-thin um, revolution, you basically have to close the sketch. SolidWorks will close the sketch. It knows that it's the center line that's the issue. So if you click OK, and it will then create the revolve. So if we close the sketch here, it's created a snazzy little revolve and we can almost see the kind of premise of, of what we're after straight away. So we've got the body of the mug so now we need to add the handle. So we'll do the handle by using a uh, by doing a sweep. So we'll click on front plane, click sketch and then to control this I think a three point arc is probably going to be an option so we can click here create this shape and it's almost a kind of half heart shape so you don't have to be too accurate with this because we can make both of those tangent you can see now that it's bringing some of the shape in however it's a bit hard to control because you've only got one or two click points and you can't basically you can't change the angle of this arc so one of the best ways that you can do it is to add a center line to this end point here, make it tangent, 
same on the bottom. We don't want to make that a line, which I did do by hovering over. It's all getting a little bit messy. It doesn't matter about that line because we can click, control, hold, and make that tangent. Uh, and that's tangent. So now we've got a lot more control over these points. So by controlling this line, we can control the angle of that arc. And you can then dimension this off the model as well. So if we click on that line, click on the top of the cup, we could make that 20 degrees, say. And then we can control the point along the mug. So we might only want that to be, say, oops, say 10 mil, 12 mil from the top. Let's call it 10 mil. Same with this point at the bottom. So by clicking that point at the bottom of the mug, we can make that 12 mil. And then we can tweak the angle of the handle. So if we click there and on the bottom of the mug, we can make that say 45. So we've got this arc and it's fairly well defined. So if we click on this arc here to get the extreme dimension or the outer dimension, it's coming up to the center. So the way to change that is by clicking on this dimension, you can see that it dimensions the center point. So from here, if we click on leaders and click on max, we can see what the maximum dimension is from the edge of this mug. So we want it to be 30. And there we go. There's the sketch handle, or the, sorry, the sketch for the handle. So if we exit that, we need to sweep this through, but we'll have an issue because where it will sweep, it will basically create a void here. So one of the ways to get around this is if you extend this sketch in only a small amount, and it doesn't have to be dimensioned, it just has to be a distance in, it will mean that the handle will intersect this body. So we can click OK, and we're now ready to sketch the handle. So we're going to do a plane, but we're going to select, it's a bit hard to see, we're going to select the end of that sketch, there we go. So the end point of that sketch and the sketch itself, and it will create the plane perpendicular to that uh, to that sketch line. So if we click on plane one, click on the sketch, and I'm going to draw an ellipse, and it's going to be say um, twelve millimeters wide, and it's going to be. I don't know, say 8 millimetres high. But you can see that this sketch is actually inside the mug, which is what we want, because we want it to start within the mug, come out, follow this path all the way around, and then finish back inside it. So we've got everything there. So now we're going to go sweep, and we're going to use our ellipse as the, uh, as the profile, and then as the path, we're going to use the previous sketch. Click OK. And there we go. However, what's going to happen is, is because the sweep is intersected within this, it's going to mess up with the shell feature. So by editing the feature, click on options and make sure that merge result isn't shown. And click OK. Now when that's done, we can shell out this body. So click shell, click on the top. And then we want to make it, say, 5 mil thick. When you do that, you can see that we've got the handle poking in there, which we don't want. So there's a very quick and easy way of doing that. You just click on the top face, click sketch, convert the outer of the circles, features, extrude cut, and we're just gonna drag that all the way down. However, feature scope at the bottom, if that's not expanded, expand that, click on selected bodies, and then you wanna click on this handle because we've got two bodies in this end, we've got the mug body and the mug handle. So just click on that handle, and this extrude cut will only affect this handle. So if you click OK, you can see that the handle now doesn't intersect the body, and it's there. And if you hide this body by right click, hide in, you can see that we've got a nice cut on that handle. So let's bring the mug body back, and we're almost there. All we need to do is add some fillets, 
so I'm just going to have to fill it onto the top of this here. It's going to say call it two mil fillet, which is fine, and then some fillets on the bottom. So I think the bottom foot can have the same fillet, two mil, and then this edge and this edge will do as big as possible as that's what it seems like so it'll be 3.5 as it was 7 mil okay so we've added the fillets here and there's our mug so it's very basic it's a kind of rough tutorial also if you do actually want to add fillets onto the inside of that you can do so you can make that quite a big fillet there and also around that part there just to smooth it all out there we go so it's all smoothed out but yeah as I said very basic tutorials just to get used to grasps with uh, creating some models and creating some kind of things that you'd see around the home so I hope that's of interest uh, if you would like this video that would be brilliant don't forget to subscribe as well if you want to see more and we will see you soon